you need that hint because again, we have a product and multiplying them together is not an option. They're already multiplied together. This is an identity that we have. And here's where it comes from. A plus or minus B. This is called the sum and difference formulas. Sum and difference formulas for trig. And I know we didn't go over them. I did put a video up, but you may not have watched it. it it's not required, but it is really highly recommended. This is going to be sine of A, cosine of B. And then the sign, the sign between them matches. So if it was plus, it stays plus. If it was minus, it stays minus. And then we just say this is cosine of A, sine of B. It just goes sine, cosine, cosine, sine. And then we have one for cosine. I know this seems like, a, why am I saying all this? But there's actually a real reason. This is equal to cosine, cosine. So it's cosine A, cosine B. And for cosine, the sines flip. So if it was plus, it's minus. If it was minus, it's plus. And then we get sine of A, sine of B. Okay, so these are, these are called the sum and difference formulas for obvious, hopefully for obvious reasons. And they're really important because if I can remember those, then it's not a big stretch to my double angle formulas. My double angle formulas are sine of two times A is, I can say that's equal to the sine of A plus A, which is equal to the sine of A times the cosine of A. My sine stays the same since it's plus, so it's plus cosine of A, sine of A. And hopefully you've noticed that these are exactly the same. So I get two sine A cosine of A. So that's why I say if you know if you know this one, you automatically know this one. And the same is true for the cosine. For the cosine, if we do the same, we want the cosine of 2a, that's equal to the cosine of a plus a, which is equal to the cosine of a times the cosine of a, because a equals b now. And then the signs flip. So I have a, a plus here, which gives me a minus here. And I get sine of A, sine of A. And that's going to equal cosine squared A minus sine squared A. What does that mean? It means I'm going to change this into A of T equals, and if I say theta equals 4 pi t, then I have 2 sine theta cosine theta, which is my double angle formula. So this is equal to the sine of 2 theta. I just want to put it in a different color so you can see where it's coming from. Theta equals 4 pi t. And then I'm going to substitute back for our problem that we're using. This is going to be equal to the sine of 2 times, and I said theta equals 4 pi t, so 4 pi t. 
which is equal to the sine of eight pi t. And now we actually have something that we can integrate because I can find the integral of the sine of eight pi t dt without any problem. We have a formula for that. This is gonna equal the negative cosine of eight pi t divided by eight pi plus c. And it still says it's starting from rest. This is equal to my velocity. I know that v of zero equals zero. Basically, this means v of zero equals zero. I have v of zero equals negative cosine of zero over eight pi plus C. And cosine of zero is one. This equals negative one over eight pi plus C. And we said that V of zero equals zero. So C is got to equal one over eight pi. Just solve for C. Now we have our velocity function, V of T is equal to negative cosine of A pi T over A pi plus one over A pi. Now we need to find Y our position the function v of t is equal to negative cosine of 8 pi t over 8 pi plus 1 over 8 pi. And that's how we use our, our information from rest or from where we're starting and find C. If we're given information about where it starts, we can always find C, otherwise we just put plus C. But now if I wanna find Y of T, it's equal to the integral of V of T dT, which is equal to the integral of the negative cosine of eight pi T over eight pi plus one over eight pi. I I'm factoring out that one over eight pi, and then I just get negative cosine of eight pi t plus one dt, or I could even say that this is equal to one over eight pi times the integral of one minus cosine of eight pi t dt. Okay, and now we integrate. So we have one over eight pi times the integral of one dt is t minus the integral of cosine is sine of eight pi t divided by eight pi plus c. And so let's continue. Do as we'll say, we know that y of zero equals zero, which equals one over eight pi times, well, t is zero, so this is zero minus sine of zero, sine of zero is zero. So that's all zero plus C 
and zero times anything is zero. So this all disappears and we get C equals zero. Y of T is equal to basically this, or I could expand it and say it's equal to T over eight pi minus sine of eight pi T over eight pi squared. And that would be my final answer.